Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'll be showing you guys how to fix the clunk in your transmission when you're putting it in drive or reverse. I've taken it to over three dealerships and they could not fix it or rep replicate the issue. They told me that it is normal in rams for it to clunk like this which is totally unacceptable as this started happening when it only had 20,000 kilometers. Truck is now sitting at around 40,000 kilometers. First owner, no towing, no hard driving, any of that. This is a 2020 Rebel with the 392 gears. So today I'll be showing you guys how to fix it so you don't have to go to the dealer and go through the same issues that I have without a resolution. The truck is still under the factory powertrain warranty, which covers it up to 100,000 kilometers, I believe. But every time I take it there, they say it's a normal issue. We have flashed and updated the TCM, which is the transmission control module. We have done the battery reset. We have tried everything that the dealer can do at a dealer level. I've talked to Ramcare, who said it doesn't apply to Canadian customers. They recommended I pay out of pocket for a differential change or a drive shaft change, just to throw different parts at it to try to resolve this issue without confirming if it's gonna work or not. So I wasn't gonna go ahead and start swapping parts if I don't know that it's gonna fix it. So I took matters into my own hands. I'll be showing you guys how to fix it for free with no parts required. I've checked forums, I've checked the RAM recalls. There's nothing that will fix this issue. One thing that caused the transmission clunk was people parking on an incline or decline without putting on the handbrake prior to shifting. But for me, it happens even on flat ground, as you've seen earlier. So I'll be going through multiple ways on showing you guys how to prevent the clunk, first of all. If the first fix fixes your clunk, then you can skip the rest of the video. I'm going to go through every step that I took in order to get rid of the clunk that even the multiple dealers, up to three, can do. And all they wrote on my note was it's normal, which is clearly not normal if it's clunking that hard. So let's get started. You're going to need your car key. We're going to go in our vehicle. So best practice, when you are parking your RAM, here, we're gonna turn it on. First solution we're gonna do, when you are ever parking your RAM, in order to prevent the clunk and transmission damage, this is what you wanna do. Let's say we're in drive or reverse. We're gonna let go of the handbrake. So we're gonna move the vehicle back. Let's say you have got to your parking spot or your place of, or your destination. What you wanna do is put it in neutral first, pull the handbrake and then let go of the brake. So your whole vehicle's weight is sitting on the handbrake and not your parking prowl gear, cause that's pretty small. And if all your vehicle's weight is sitting on P, when you shift out of P, it's going to make a loud clunk because it's trying to disengage the parking prowl. So once we have our handbrake pulled, as you can see, and we're in neutral and the brakes, we let go. So the vehicle is now sitting on the park. We can now switch to park. If you let go and switch out of gear, it will not make a clunk. It'll be super smooth, even if you go to reverse or any other gear. That's the first way. So neutral, handbrake, and then park. That's the proper way of setting your transmission to park if you don't want to ruin your transmission or have that huge, loud, annoying clunk when you're shifting out. So if your car still decides to clunk, even on flat surfaces with this fix, what we're gonna do next is the second method of fixing your transmission clunk if the neutral and parking method didn't work for you is you've got a bigger issue, which is probably due to your differential or transfer case. When we drive these trucks, it's always in two-wheel drive. As you know, it's nice and beautiful here. We don't really put in four-wheel drive in the summer. And over time, there's something stuck in the transfer case or the axle lock differential. So I found this out as I was off-roading. When my wheels were freely spinning, I put on the axle lock. I could hear a weird clunk, sort of like when I put in drive. After I used the axle lock, it removed that clunk when I put in drive. As you can see, it's super smooth and quiet now. So this is what you want to do if your transmission is clunking. We're going to hit the axle lock. 
Now the rear axle is locked as you can see and we're going to use the functions. We're going to gas a little bit and then we're going to hit reverse. As you can hear, the transmission is super smooth now. If this method does not fix your clunk, what you're going to want to do is go on some loose gravel so you lose traction on one of your wheels. Let's say your rear right wheel is on soft gravel and your left is also on soft gravel. So put your vehicle in the axle lock mode once you're not moving and then put in drive and get out of that hole that you're stuck in. It will resolve that clunk, that annoying clunk that happens when you are in drive. That is the second method on how to remove that clunk. It should sound buttery smooth, just like this. If that method still doesn't resolve your issue, we're gonna try method number three, which is cycling through the different four-wheel drive modes for your vehicle. So we're gonna go and drive. So first, we're gonna cycle through four-wheel drive low. As you can see, to complete it, we gotta put in neutral. Shift in progress, auto park disabled. As you can see, it is cycling through the gears and the transfer case. So you wanna drive around like this for a bit, just to cycle through all your different four wheel drive modes. After driving in all wheel drive low, after you're done driving around in four wheel low, we're gonna put in four wheel high do a couple spins around the neighborhood. After you all complete, we're gonna go back to two wheel drive. Now we're back in two wheel drive and you can drive around as normal. I'm gonna show you guys outside how that has fixed our issue. As you can see, when you are changing gears around, you'll hear your truck clunk and make noises because it's moving the transfer case around or it's switching gears around that have not been used for a long time or it's in a weird spot. Doing this will reset the position. As you can hear, there's not a single clunk or jerking motion in your truck after you cycle through all the all-wheel drive modes. So that's how you repair the clunk in your transmission. Super easy fix, no parts or expenses required. He believed three different dealers could not diagnose this issue. They went to lubricating the drive shaft to recommending a differential fluid change when this only has 40,000 kilometers and it's city driven to replacing parts that aren't even needed. And when all that was required was to cycle through the different off-road options. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Let me know if you guys got any questions. You can leave them down in the comments below or email us directly. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a wonderful day.